Hello and welcome back to my humble show. So, I'm thinking and driving. That's right. I'm going to share some thoughts while I'm on my way home from a lunch break. Sorry if you can't hear me at the moment. I have my turning signal on. I just have my phone lodged in the dash and it stays, surprisingly. Bumps and all. Anyways, I tried this the other day but I had to work out some, some kinks and uh, I didn't end up using that footage. So I'm gonna try try again, see if, see if this works. If so, I'll stick with it. If the shoe fits, I'm gonna wear it until I wear it out. I'm trying to find any time I can possibly spare to uh, share with you what I think about, in this case, the upcoming election, which is in just over a dozen days, and the latest not-so-great talking point of the Democrats, namely Kamala Harris, is that Donald Trump is Hitler. Yeah. Who would have guessed it? Not really the latest talking point. Not really a new talking point. We've heard it over and over in many ways, shapes, and forms. Uh, but it has gotten more emphatic than ever because of the John Kelly commentary on Trump supposedly uh, admiring Adolf Hitler to the point of wanting generals like Hitler had. That's right. He wants to be a fascist. He uh, wants to be a dictator on day one, as they say. So yeah, like I said, this is this is nothing new, but right before the election with a hint of desperation and divisiveness. Well, that's what they're they're giving us. Kamala Harris called a sort of press conference type event. You know, because she doesn't really she doesn't really care to answer people's questions at an actual press conference. But oh, someone someone within Trump's administration, previously within Trump's administration calls Trump a Hitler wannabe and she's all over that. She's more than willing to, to go out and uh, tell the world what's on her mind. Uh, so that's that's exactly what she did. And she said exactly what I've already said about him admiring Hitler's generals and such. And that's all that's all expected. As is Green Jean Pierre going out to her pulpit, the White House press podium and repeating as much. I thought it was really interesting, really ironic, really hypocritical, if you think about it, which I do while I'm driving, uh, because in one moment, in response to one question, uh, Corinne Jean-Pierre says, oh no, Joe Biden didn't mean it the other day when, when he said that uh, Donald Trump needs to be locked up. When, when Joe Biden said that Donald Trump needs to be locked up. Sorry, my my phone is ringing. I'm getting a call. Hopefully it's not disturbing my recording process here. All right. Uh, sorry. Where was I? And Joe Biden had said, we need to lock him up in regards to Trump. And then he said, politically, we need to lock him up politically? Okay, that kind of means the same thing, does it not? And then he he, he tried to, to spin it a little bit, and he said, we need to lock him out. Okay, we need to lock him out of the election, I guess, by voting against him? Alright, if you say so. Nevertheless, the deed had been done. He had said, we need to lock him up. And it was as if he was saying the quiet part out loud before, sure, maybe catching himself. Either way, KJP was asked about this during her propaganda briefing today, and, and she said, oh, he clarified it. He, he didn't mean lock him up, lock him up. He just meant lock him out, lock him up, you know, politically. He clarified what he meant. Don't get it confused. Don't get it twisted. Okay, so the next question, the next question was about John Kelly's uh, comments. And her response to that was, well, 
Donald Trump vowed to be a dictator on day one. He said he's going to be a dictator on day one. Uh, okay, wait. Didn't he clarify what he meant? Didn't he say that's not what he meant? In fact, didn't he not even say that to that literal point in the first place? He said, if you want to call me a dictator, here's my day one dictatorship. I'm going to secure the border and drill baby drill. That's it. That's what he was saying. It was sarcastic at worst. And ever since, he has clarified repeatedly because Democrats were like, oh, he's he's vowing to be a dictator on day one. And he's like, uh, not really. Not really. You want to know what I meant? Well, I'll tell you. And they're like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. It's just the soundbite. That's the truth of it all. It's hilarious because they have two talking points when it comes to Trump. Yeah, I'm taking this show in twos here. They have two talking points. Primary talking points when it comes to Trump. When he tells you who he is, believe him. Democrats love to say this. Republicans say it sometimes too. When they tell you who they are, when they show you who they are, believe them. Okay, and then the other one is, do you believe anything he says? Do you believe anything that comes out of his mouth? Okay, so which is it? You believe him or do you not believe him? Oh, depends on what's convenient for you. Uh, just like now, when one person who worked under Trump and obviously despised him, or at least does now, as many of them do now, uh, says one thing. Okay, what about what about the other people who worked with him, around him, under him, over him? Well, not over him because he was the president. But, you know, many people who were there at that same time who, who say, if they have not already, they will just as they did in response to the suckers and losers claims. Now, they'll they'll say, these other previous officials, uh, he never actually said that they were suckers and losers, or in this case, he never actually said he wants to be like Hitler. This is all just rhetoric, or maybe even a lie. <laughs> okay, so mainstream media on up to Biden's a press secretary who is basically acting as Kamala's uh, press secretary at the same time <laughs> since they are one and the same despite being totally different same same but different you know they all well you know whatever's convenient for their narrative I kind of lost my train of thought there going around uh, a roundabout uh, <laughs> I'm almost home. I'm going to have to cut this off in a, in a moment. It, it only records 10 minute long videos anyway, so kind of running out of time. Over 8 minutes. I'm trying to figure out how I want to summarize this. Not bore you too much. I think I'm doing okay. But yeah, they, they all, you know, they believe whatever side of the story benefits them. And again, Republicans, they do that too. And I call the press secretary, propaganda secretary, and that, that holds true regardless of who the president is, because their primary position, their job description is say only what makes your administration look good. That's it. That's all they do. For four years or eight years or however long they stick around. Though uh, KJP has only been in for part of, um, of Biden's administration and she has done her job so terribly that she has received a promotion as of late. Yeah. So anyways, I just I just thought I would highlight the 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 lowlights of these uh, fraudulent politicians who uh, go out and say whatever it takes to win and they'll literally have the entire country believing if it's up to them that Donald Trump is Hitler even after he he nearly gets assassinated twice. So yeah, Kamala's message uh, get well soon. Get well soon, Donald. Let me shake your hand when it suits my, my perception. When I, when I need to give people a certain perception of me. Let me shake your hand on the debate stage. Uh, and, and then let me get right back to telling everyone that you're Hitler. It's as if they, they want him to be assassinated for once and for all. But, for once and for all, that's what I have to say. Have a good rest of the day. Peace.
Oh, hello. <laughs> this is awkward. So I changed the resolution on my phone before I started recording so that it wouldn't take up so much space and take so long to do anything with the file, that is. What I didn't realize is that decreasing the level of quality increases the amount of time I can record without my camera shutting off. So, yeah, hopefully I wasn't making any weird faces there. I'll probably go ahead and upload all of this, and you can laugh at me if you want. But yeah, at least I get to, to summarize myself just a little bit better. Like, subscribe, and enjoy the ride. Keep in touch, keep in tune. New content is coming soon, hopefully. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and feel free to disagree with me. Um, yeah. I just think it's interesting how, on the one hand, they're like, get well soon. And on the other hand, they're like, you're Hitler. So if he really is as terrible as they say in all of their fear-mongering, then he would be better off, or at least we would be better off with him dead. So it's almost as if that's what they're calling for. Last-ditch effort to win the election because they don't like where they're at in the polling. <sighs> Can't blame them. But I do, because, you know, if they're going to maintain this, this position of him being a divisive politician, they need to keep that same energy, keep that same standard for themselves. Because it, it seems like they, they never pass up an opportunity to respond to his rhetoric with something even more rhetorically ridiculous. Yeah. There you go.